it is a general reading, this may or may not resonate. Okay, if it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. All right, looks like someone's coming in, Virgo. The same flighty energy, of course, the same one who you cut off in the past. <laughs> This is the same person that you cut off in the past, okay? Someone who you've been fed up with. This person can't move on from you. They're not moving on. I'd say A, they're not moving on. B, this person still makes the road tougher than it seems. They know what they need to do if they want to be with you. They know what they need to do in order to stop these repetitive cycles, you know, over and over again. They know what they need to do in order to get into a more better place, into, to get into a more peaceful harmonious environment with you okay which is probably commitment which is probably equal give and take which is probably where it's like that traditional setup okay where people get married etc all right and that's what's influencing this connection all right that's what the biggest blockage out here is that this person does not understand that in order to in order to have a successful relationship it doesn't it's not a one-sided effort okay it's got to be two. it's got to be two-sided it's got to be balanced it's got to be equality Um, on your mind is the emperor in reverse. I feel that uh, you're in this energy of where my way or the highway. Okay, that, I think that's the kind of energy that you are in right now. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you are in right now. You're like, no, there's no other way to this. It is my way or the highway. You're being very rigid but now it's like you're became, becoming almost like a tyrant you know earlier you were thinking logically okay maybe oh maybe there's a need to uh think more logically about this but you're not you're letting your um insecurities uh come out okay so because of your insecurities you're being a control freak all right could be the person you're dealing with okay but again subconsciously with the empress out here this person is um wanting growth expansion with you all right otherwise also i feel that you are in your power and uh, i think you don't really give a shit to this person they do you don't okay you don't your focus is on yourself your growth your money but this time around instead of being more logical i think you're being stubborn and rigid in a way where it's like just it's it's impossible to convince you, okay, to do things that way, all right? So what happens is sometimes structure is good, okay, stability is good, but what happens, you can, it can, it, it can become very, very claustrophobic after a while, okay, just to say that. But what you're doing right now with the emperor in reverse is like, I think you're almost trying to teach this person a lesson. But what happens is when you're in this energy, there are chances that even if there are other potential people coming towards you, right, other people who want a chance with you, you tend to put your guards so high that it's just next to impossible for someone to get through those guards. Just saying. So yes, you were fed up with this person in the past out here and in the near future. I feel that there are chances you want to heal or uh, just get out of this connection. Let's see. Okay, I need to clarify. What's the six of swords in reverse? Yeah. You've given up on this person out here. This person can't move on from you. But the problem here is that this person is operating from their pride, their ego. They're operating from their ego. Yeah, they know they want you. They know they love you. They have passion for you. Okay, but this person is, you know, they can't tame the situation and they can't even make the changes that they need to come towards you. Okay, so that's why this person's in a very fucked up place. What's the six of pentacles in reverse? Six of pentacles in reverse. Two of Pentacles. This person's in two minds, okay? Whatever this is, right? Someone's in two minds, okay? Of, uh, or probably this was a very on and off connection, a connection that had no stability, security to it, okay? Uh, which is why there was no equal give and take, okay? Only one person was doing all the work. And I think after a while, the other person started feeling very um, used or being taken advantage of, okay? Because there, this was a connection that was just not balanced, okay? It was a very on and off connection, lacking stability, security. This person was wishy-washy. The emperor in reverse. The emperor in reverse. Now oh, it in reverse. I think you're too isolated. That's what I'm getting here. I don't think you're isolated. I think you're too isolated. You know what you need to do. 
Again, this can be you, the person you're dealing with, all right? So flip the sides. I have to keep saying it because then I keep getting comments. Oh, can this be him? Can this be her? Okay, so please flip the sides however you wish to do it. I feel you're too isolated or the person you're dealing with is too isolated. This is someone here who's just not trying to address the issue, okay? So instead of addressing the issue and working logically and practically, realistically, this person is letting their emotions overpower them. And um, what's happening here is that this person's pushing themselves in an isolation, okay, in, in a lockdown. So this person out here is probably just cutting connections off or just wanting to um, involve themselves in their day-to-day -day activities where they don't need to think much about the connection, okay? Because they know that if they need to think about this connection, the answers are all within. And they're trying to find answers outside, you know, in their external environment. And that's not going to work. It's just a temporary solution, okay? What's the emperor, empress here? Why is the empress here? Why is the empress here? The empress here is with the page of pentacles. Yeah, see? You have the tower in reverse here. There's a narcissistic who's coming back towards you. Okay. This person sees you as marriage material. This person wants to get married to you. They see you in the future and they're coming in with that, with that um, pentacle. Immature energy. Agreed. You're too mature for them. But um, mentally you're too mature for them and that's what you want. But this person's still coming towards you. At least they're making an attempt to, instead of offering something like the page of cups, you know, this person's making an attempt to offer you something stable, something secure. And, um, it's an opportunity here, which is very difficult for them to handle is what I'm getting here. Not the best to handle this opportunity. I'd prefer a knight or a king with the empress here. But yes, someone with a big age difference. Okay, you and them. There's a big age difference between you guys out here. That's the kind of person that's coming in towards you, wanting to offer you an apology or give you something stable or wanting to start something new with you. But this time with stability, security and something tangible. Okay, something that makes sense. Queen of Swords in reverse. Why is the Queen of Swords in reverse in the past? Yeah, you were losing patience in the past, okay? This person made you wait. This person was very slow. This person was taking their own time to come towards you or give you what you want. I feel more than this person being slow, you were dealing with someone who was very immature, right? So they just don't know what to do with you. The, the page doesn't know how to handle with the empress. They don't know what to do with the empress, right? They don't understand all that. So I feel this person made you wait and you were like all ready for commitment. You were all ready to take things to the next level. And this person's like, I don't know what to do next, okay? Like, I want you, I don't want you, I miss you, I love you, I, you know? But then, I don't know what to do next, you know? And they made you wait, and you were probably hoping, wishing, praying that things will work out. This person will finally realize that this is what they want, and you both want the same thing, something like that. But they didn't, okay? Which is why it pissed you off, and which is why you cut them off, all right? And you're coming from a place of resentment. You're being very bitter right now. Three of Swords in Reverse. Three of Swords in Reverse. Try for the Three of Swords in Reverse. Try for the Three of Swords in Reverse. Four of Wands in Reverse. Yeah. I think you're moving on from a connection because it's just not working out. There is no stability, security in the connection. There is no marriage. There is no commitment. Uh, you feel uh, left out. You feel isolated. You feel lonely. And you just feel like it's just not worth it. So I think you're moving on from this person. You're probably healing, forgiving. And I don't think you're in any mood of a reconciliation. You're just healing, releasing the pain that came with this. And you're ready to take things in another direction is what I'm getting. Okay. So yeah, you're just moving on. Ten of Pentacles. Why is this here? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Wow. This person wants commitment with you. Okay. This person is looking at you as want. They want a brand new cycle with you. Okay. This person is definitely looking at you as wanting a brand new cycle with you. They want to start... Um, a cycle with a lot of clarity, a lot of illumination. They have a lot of illumination. They know what they want. They clearly know what they want. And you're the one that they want here. With the Ten of Pentacles here, I feel that this person is ready to face whatever they have to. Say tradition, family, whatever it is, right? But they're ready to take things uh, to a point of security and stability, all right? But there is a new beginning coming in for you guys. <clears throat> What's the start in reverse? What's the start in reverse? 
What's this time in noodles? Yeah, you're losing hope and faith because you just feel that there is uh, no new beginning here. Now it can go reversed also. Okay, maybe you are very focused on your money. You're focused on your stability, security, and you want to. Uh, and you're in this place of where you're being very optimistic. You're very positive. You have this confidence. You you have realistic expectations that if it's got to work out, it'll work out kind of thing. But I think you're very focused on the stability. You're not. Um, settling for anything less maybe the person that you're dealing with because this is in your environment that you don't see coming right this kind of person here is losing all hope and faith that things will ever work out between you guys i think this person hasn't healed completely it's also what i'm getting here okay and this person wants to try again so what's happening here is that they keep coming back towards you without being healed without addressing the root of the issue and the root of the issue is that you want something stable you want committed okay you want something traditional this person out here does not get it they just don't get it. They just feel that this is a connection. They feel the connection. They want the connection. They love you. You love them, etc. And that's how the connection goes. All right. So it's the priorities that are different out here. And every time this person will keep coming back towards you without knowing, without correcting the root issue. Okay. That's why we saw the six of swords in reverse here. Like I said, they're not doing what they're supposed to do. Okay. They're making the road more difficult than it seems. They're making it more tougher than it seems. They're going against the current. All right. The current is pushing them towards something more stable with you so you can you guys can get together and go ahead. They're going against the current. OK, and that's a lot of strength that they need to resist this. That's why the strength in reverse. OK, which is a lot of ego and pride is coming, you know, from their side to do what you have told them to do or to do what they need to do in order to be with you. OK, it's just pride. It's like, why should I? Yeah. Why can't we have it the way I want it to? That's what I'm getting here. All right. See, that's why the emperor yeah, in reverse. There is someone who's very rigid, very stubborn. They don't. They don't get it. Or even if they get it, it's their like I said, it's their ego. Okay, it's their uh, um, dominating behavior where it's like, no, I don't listen to you. You listen to me, right? Okay. But this person uh, is giving up because they feel that there is never going to be uh, something stable between you guys. So there, there's a lot of self-doubt actually is what I'd say. There's a lot of self-doubt from this person, okay? They don't believe in themselves enough to make it happen. I didn't even ask a question. All right, four of cups here in your emotions. Why is that? So you're sitting there all upset, bored, in that stagnant energy, feeling rejected. What's the four of cups? What's the Four of Cups? So that was in reverse. One to two shows. Yes. Yeah, Four of Cups, Six of Wands. I think you're in two minds right now. You want to move forward, okay? You want to move forward successfully, but the thing is that you're still waiting for this person. So part of you is waiting for them. A part of you is like um, wanting to move forward, okay? It's like just let bygones be bygones. You could be doing very well in your career, your profession, okay? But I feel it's just that... You, you just want that attention. Maybe you're not getting the attention that you want. I think that's what's happening here. You're not getting the attention that you want from this person out here, okay? Which is why you're feeling so um, bored and um, just uh, actually stuck and stagnant is what I'd say. I'm getting more of like you're feeling rejected because you're not getting the love and attention you deserve, right? With the six of wands, so you want this forward moment. You want to make th take things forward. You want this commitment. You want this person to put a label on the connection. But it's not happening, which is why you feel like this situation is going nowhere. There is an opportunity here. Now, the opportunity can be either you move on because there are other prospects out there. There's a lot of other fish in the sea. But you're choosing to stay in that past energy, crying over the three cups that have spilled, which is why you're not being able to see the opportunity that's coming towards you. Or maybe it's just the law of attraction where the offer is coming towards you, right? But you're just so focused on the negative aspects. Which is why you can't, you can't, the waiting game is becoming even more tougher. What's the Knight of Wands? What's the Knight of Wands here? What's the Knight of Wands? Wow, Knight of Wands with the King of Pentacles. So, you know what I'm getting here? This person's gonna come in towards you very wishy washy. Their approach is gonna come in towards you as, you know, like, very passionate, someone who just wants what they want, like, you know what I mean, right? But 
behind the scenes with the king of pentacles here this is what this person actually wants so you know what i'm getting here i'm getting a very egocentric person out here someone who wants this with you they're ready to change for you or they want to change for you but they don't want to come in towards you as like hey you know what i've changed i'm sorry my mistake my bad you know they want to come in towards you with that passionate energy you know with that very uh, flighty energy like you know i can't be tied down kind of energy but behind the scenes with the king of pentacles here this is what this person wants this person wants commitment with you they want commitment with you they're just too rigid to change their approach yeah that's what i'm getting because with the knight of wands and the king of pentacles here i think this person is very confused about what kind of approach they should take towards you i don't see this as two people i think they're very very rigid because they're coming in with that passion with that fire out here wanting to offer you something stable and something committed but you are ready to move on because you didn't have that in the first place so yeah if you want to stick around you want to move on it's going to be up to you right that's what i have for you hope this reading resonates leave your comments below like share subscribe and i'll see you next time bye bye